What's up everybody? This is the Creed Harry and today I'm here to show you how to make a simple DIY Aircrete pump. Now in my past I created one of these pumps out of a plastic drum but today I'm going to show an even easier method using a steel drum that you can get for free. Now this particular drum it, uh, held antifreeze and I'd probably recommend you finding the same thing to not have to deal with cleaning oil out. But otherwise, using an antifreeze steel drum uh, works perfect because you have all your fittings ready to roll. You have a two inch cap and a three quarter inch cap. So I'm gonna show you the very simple DIY method for making an air creep pump. So what we do first, if we pan down here, is we remove this two inch cap. So I use a pair of pliers to uh, turn it. And this is a two inch cap that we've just taken off. Now what you need next is a two inch nipple. So we take the nipple and um, we'll put our uh, pipe tape on here so that we get a good seal. This screws in just perfectly here. And on the other side, you'll need a screwdriver to stick in here and get this cap loosened. And this is a three quarter inch cap. And on this side, we're gonna need a reducer to go from three quarter inch to quarter inch for our airline. So we'll put some pipe tape on the uh, three quarter inch piece so we get a good seal and we'll screw this in and we'll tighten it down with our wrench Sure it's on nice and tight. Now that you have your uh, pipe, your nipple, and your reducer in, <clears throat> this is going to be a, a quick uh, a push-in connector, and this is what we're going to use for attaching our air to. This is our air valve. We have an on-off valve here and we have an adjustable air pressure knob here to adjust how much air pressure we put in. That's going to be important because we don't want to have too much air pressure in here where we uh, blow every, anything up. You want to be careful with this method. This is DIY so you want to be careful. So we'll tighten this piece up to our reducer Once that's tightened, we'll have our hose here. And this kit will be available at aircreeharry.com as well as my Amazon link. So here we have the basic setup that we need for, air, uh, for our aircreep pump. Now the next thing we're gonna need to connect is our tube for our pump hose. And I'll show you that step next. Okay, now from this stage, you have the option of getting a, a suction hose, which is what I would recommend because the hose doesn't flatten out. It's a much stronger hose. And you should be able to find this at any hardware store or even Home Depot or Lowe's. Now, this hose has a two inch fitting that would screw on to here. Now the only disadvantage of this is having to remove your hose so that you could fill this container. 
So what we're gonna do is hook up a quick disconnect. If you have this option, I would highly recommend this option. This is a cam block, this quick disconnect. So instead of the, your two inch nipple, we'll screw this piece in. Now we have an easy way to fill number one after you mix your air crete. You're going to want to fill this container up with your air crete so that you can pump. After you filled it, you take our hose with the cam lock, quick disconnect, put it in, and lock it on both sides. And after you've done that, once you're ready to pump your air creep, you have to take your barrel and lean it over on its side. So what I recommend is that you have, you make yourself some blocks. I would get a piece of stick with some blocks on both sides so that your barrel didn't roll on you and you could keep it in one spot. Then we'll connect our air to here, and starting with a very low pressure, we'll turn the air on. So I'm gonna demonstrate how this works with water. We'll be right back. So I'm gonna demonstrate this with water first. Now remember, water is much heavier than air creep. Okay, so this is a quick test I'm doing for everyone. So I put some water in here. I'm gonna connect my hose. Lock it. This is my air pressure. I'm gonna connect the air pressure. Make sure the valve is in the off position. So next I'm gonna lean this down. Now remember, I have water in here just to test it. And water is about 8.3 gallons, 8.3 pounds per gallon. So a full battle barrel of water would be way heavier than a barrel of uh, aircrete. Because aircrete would be one 94 pound bag with 43 gallons of foam. So it'd be much lighter than a full barrel of water. So this is just a test that I'm doing with water. And if it pushes water out, it should have no problem pumping air creep. So I'm gonna lean the barrel over on its side. This hose, there's about 50 feet of hose I have here, and it's going all the way up to the top of my RV. Am I panning, showing the hose going up to the top of the RV? Just follow that hose down coming to here you know that there's no trickery happening so I'll lean this barrel over okay so my air pressure right now reads zero and I'm going to turn the dial until it reaches 20 then I'm gonna put my air valve on, and then we're gonna pan over and see if we get water coming out of our hose. This is the Air Cree Harry 
55 gallon air creep pump. Indeed. So I turned the valve off. Now I'm going to turn it back on again and it's going to finish pumping out the water that's in here. You're welcome, world. <laughs> <laughs>